worked on somebody's glutes and they're on their back? Well, they had low back pain and we worked on their low back, right? Yeah. But we never touched their low back. Well, now we're going to work on gluteals. So how do we work on gluteals? Now first, does this lengthen piriformis? Does it lengthen gluteus maximus? Yes. yes. Okay. So we're already getting some mobilization and we pull through here. It lengthens like all along the sacrum, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what about compression? You, who was asking about turning them to the side and then using... Me. Okay, it was you. <laughs> so you bring them to the side, you can use some pressure. The problem is she's going to fall off of the table. Yeah. Here's how I solved that. Yeah. How's that? It feels good. Nice. Now, how's that? That feels better. Okay. So, the difference is this. This is more my thigh stacked up, like I'm pulling her onto my quadricep. This is more like my pointy knee in what I call pigeon. How's this? Much better. Much better. The okay. Now, if I bring it to the side, how's that? Oh, that's even better. Even better. Okay. Even better and I have to find the, the person, like where their angle is. How's that? That's like chocolate cake. Good. How, how stressful is this on my hands? No. How deep is the compression? Oh, it's deep. This is what you do on Instagram. Because this is what people want to see. Now, could I do this draped? Let's bring up drape again. Do you see? Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Too much? Oh, yes. I, I shifted around just to see what a response would be. It was too much. So drink. here's the thing. I'm, I was using my left leg because I could I use my right? Depending on how good you are with draping. How's that? Uh, that's good. Now, tell Massage Envy I have one foot on the floor. <laughs> but it doesn't look like your mas massage as you're used to it, right? How's the compression? That's good. More lateral? Mm, yes. Right there? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Generally, what I tell people is it's like there's a lot of stuff I'll call receiving the client. I'm not pushing into them, I'm pulling them onto me. Now, how's the pressure there? Do you need more? Could. You, you could, you said? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I hold there, how's that? It's getting intense. How's that? It's good. Okay. More this way, more up. What's the other option? Down. Um, yeah, down. Down? Now, if I move my knee a little bit higher, I'm going to bring her over. <coughs> How's that spot? Is that better? Yeah, that's, just, that's not as intense. Not as intense? Is that what you want? Yeah, we'll try intense. Okay. Or do you want more high? You're going to have to learn to feel, and when I say that, like, there's nothing right or wrong about what her answer is. It's just you have to find out where they want to feel pressure. Does it make sense? We're learning how to feel with our legs and feet and knees for the first time, so it takes a little time. Oh, yeah, <laughs> because we loosened it up, right? Okay, she's right-handed, right-dominant, right-legged. Not too much? Okay, I'm going to start with the... The opposite this time. Doo, 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 doo. Now everybody's range of motion will be completely different. How's that? Right there? Okay. Think runners, athletes, uh, who, who's going to be at the high school? Do they want this? Is visual. I had a student in uh, Houston who was working one of the running events or cycling events and she said she got tired. And she said, Robert, when I got tired, I started doing your table tie techniques, and everybody got out of everybody else's line and lined up in mine. Mm -hmm. Why? They could see it. They could see it. When I finally realized that one of the real strengths, is that too much right there? Okay. How's that? Now, do you see basically her entire pelvis is lifted? It's deep compression into the side of my knee. If it's uncomfortable to you, we have to change it, okay? If you don't like this for some reason, you could come in and do this. It's totally different, by the way. Your fist. 
How's that? It's not as great. Yeah, but, but the thing is, if you had an option, and like let's say your knees, you just your knees and your hips just don't move that way or whatever, you can also take a tennis ball, put a tennis ball down. Hey, how's this? Good. Makes sense. And you can mobilize. You can even lift it up and have them position. Put the tennis ball where you think you need it. And then you roll them back on and test it. See what I mean? Same basic idea. It's also, when I'm bringing her over, mobilizing the lumbar spine, lum, lum, mobilizing the hips, mobilizing the sacrum. You're shaking all the cobwebs out through the pelvic bowl. You guys want to try that? Total difference between this and this. The pigeon, the pigeon is more pointy. Got two 